Hey everybody, in this video I'll show you how to play Cherub Rock by Smashing Pumpkins off the Siamese Dream record. The song is in standard tuning, and if you have a second, remember to like and subscribe and click the little bell notifications. That way you're notified every time I post a new video. I post new content like this several times a week, and here we go. Alright, so this song has a lot of cool octave rhythms, and what an octave is, is basically you're going to be playing two of the same notes. For example, it starts off in an E on different strings. and so. When you would normally play like an E power chord or an E major chord, you play it like that. But the way it start, the song starts off with, we're only going to play the E notes of the power chord. And so the root note here is the E, and the G string is the E at the ninth fret. And so what you're going to do is you're going to mute that string, that D string with your index finger so it sounds like this. And so those are the accents are going to be played on those chords. And then you're also going to be playing the low E string. So it sounds like this. And so you're going to kind of go back and forth, but it's four, four times. So you're going to be thinking one, two, three, four, but you're going to hit the accent notes on the accent parts and the low E notes um, are kind of more like a bass or rhythm part. So Slowly that, that, that rhythm is. And then once it starts to kind of build up after the first two times, then you're just going to be playing that, that whole rhythm and you're going to be playing that low E note through with the power chord. So it sounds like. And what I like to do, and what it sounds like they're doing on the record, is lifting your index finger off that root note on the ax on the low E accent. So, so it might take a bit of practice to play along, but start slow and then build up speed to play along on the record. And then after the bass comes in. Then it kind of comes into distortion and it's going to sound like. And then there's like this little fill. And you're going to be playing octaves again, except you're going to have your index finger at the 11th fret of the A string and your ring finger at the 13th fret of the G string. And you're going to play another one of those octaves. And it's kind of like this build up part and it goes. Then you're going to slide up with your root finger on the 14th fret of the A string. And then it sounds like there's some kind of like slide that goes. So all the way through it goes. And then right before the verse comes in, the guitar is going to switch to this rhythm. And so slowly, again, we're playing octaves, and then there's going to be some slides in here, so it goes. And then you're going to kind of bend here. And so again, like the first part, you're going to be playing that root note on the low E throughout that, and it's kind of like a rhythm tempo, and it's like a one, two, three, four type count, almost exactly. And then the octaves are going to be your accents. So slowly it's. And then there's going to be this little bit of uh, vibrato in the middle of that. So slowly again. And then after we play that part a few times, we're going to come to the, the verse. And right before the verse starts, there's going to be these two chords, a D to an A, and it goes. So what that sounds like is. And 
And then the rhythm is gonna be a little different. It's gonna be similar, but, but a little bit different from before. And so the new rhythm goes like this. Then we do the D to A again. Then back to that rhythm. And so slowly it's. And there's a little bit of vibrato, so. Right there and at the end, so. And then. So then at the end of the verse, we hit those D and A chords again. And then we're gonna go into the chorus and the chorus is gonna be a C chord to a G chord. Then back to a D, then to an A, then to a C, then to a G. So it's. And there's layers and layers of guitar on this track, so it sounds like some are playing some open chords, so you can play it open too. So it could be. And then the last time through the chorus, we're just gonna ride that C. So you go from the D to the A and then just ride the C out, so. So slowly that chorus is. and back into the verse. Then after we go through the verse and chorus again another time, there's gonna be this bridge part after the chorus. And so it has these, these kind of accent chords. So we'll take it from the top of the bridge starting with the two accent chords. And so after the bridge, we're gonna go into this kind of build up part, which leads into the solo. And it basically is very similar to the beginning part. Except we're gonna just build up. So we're gonna go from. And then there's a big slide at the end. So slowly, we're gonna start with our index finger at the seventh fret of the A string. Then we're gonna move up to the 11th fret. Then the 14th fret. Then the 17th fret. And it's a shorter time this time. And then to the 19th fret. And big slide, so slowly. And then it goes into the solo. And then we come to the solo, and the solo is very overdriven, and it has um, like some other effects on it, like a flanger. I'm not gonna put all that on. I am using the Big Muff pedal for like that fuzz sound, which the Smashing Pumpkins really like. And so I'm gonna break it down into parts, and it, sound, it starts off like this. So slowly it goes like this. So there's a lot of really long bends, so. So 
the next part goes like this. So we're going to start with kind of a long slide up, and then a hammer on pull up, and then we're going to move down to kind of change position. So we're going to do that hammer on pull up at the 12th to 15th fret, then go to the 13th, 11th, and a bend then the 11th. So. Slowly, one more time. And the last part goes like this, it's kind of an ascending pattern. So slowly it's... One more time, slowly. So then after the solo, we're gonna go back into the chorus again, and then we're gonna do this kind of outro, which is very similar to the beginning. And you're gonna play this part. And then there's like this kind of build up again that goes, goes through, kind of similar to what we played before with the. Except we're gonna start at the 11th fret, and we're gonna go 11, 12, 14, 17. And then we're going to end on the chords, and I'll show you that in a second. So it goes like this. And then we're going to end on a D, E. So one more time, it's like... So that's it for this one. I hope you liked the video. Remember to like and subscribe and click the little bell. That way you're notified when I post new content. I post new videos like this several times a week and I'll see you guys next time.